The results of a major clinical trial run at the University of Birmingham examining the effects of chemotherapy on early phase breast cancer seem likely to have significant implications for the treatment of women with this condition. The researchers have discovered that by adding epirubicin to established cocktails of chemotherapy drugs, they can noticeably improve survival rates in early stage breast cancer, reducing the risk of death by approximately 30%. One of the key challenges for doctors has to be to integrate the best possible chemotherapy with newer drugs. Epirubicin, an anthracycline, was already known to kill cancer cells in a different way from traditional chemotherapy drugs. Well, there were two anthracyclines in common use in solid tumours at the time. One was doxorubicin, one was epirubicin. Epirubicin was the newer of the two drugs, and in fact it's an analogue of doxorubicin, but there was evidence emerging that epirubicin was significantly less cardiotoxic. And what, the, the importance there is that many of the women we are treating in this study got early stage disease. Some aren't going to relapse uh, with breast cancer and safety has to be uh, the, a, a huge priority when you're treating patients with early breast cancer. So epirubicin looked better from a, 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 a toxicological point of view. The trial involving more than 2,000 women from 65 centres across the UK is the largest ever study of this approach to chemotherapy. The National Epirubicin Adjuvant Trial set out to examine the effects of the chemotherapy drug Epirubicin when combined with traditional chemotherapy drugs in women with early stage breast cancer. The trial compared the established combination of chemotherapy drugs, CMF, with CMF chemotherapy in combination with four cycles of Epirubicin. Epirubicin had been introduced into practice in the 1980s and by the time we designed this study in the early 90s it had become an established part of chemotherapy for women with advanced breast cancer for which read metastatic breast cancer. So we knew its place in the treatment of women who developed secondaries perhaps after early treatment uh, with one of the standard adjuvant regimens such as CMF. So we knew about its safety, we knew about its side effects, we knew how to handle it but we knew it was less toxic than doxorubicin. Patients in the study were followed up over a period of five years, with patients receiving epirubicin, as well as traditional chemotherapy, showing significantly better survival rates and less recurrence of tumours than patients receiving traditional chemotherapy. The results of the study were collected and collated at the university's clinical trials unit, where the statisticians have been monitoring data throughout the trial. The primary measures on which the treatments in the NEAT trial were being assessed were the relapse-free survival time. So the, 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 time, the amount of time you can delay the uh, disease coming back and the overall survival time, those were the two key outcome measures. And for both of those, the results um, showed that there was um, about a 30% reduction in the risk of those events happening, either relapse or death. Um, on the ECMF compared to CMF alone. So that's a staggering reduction in the risk of death. We will often see sort of maybe 15, 20% reductions in the risk um, of the events happening. But this, this was a particularly large effect that we saw in this trial. And the, so those are the two, probably the two key results. The results of the trial have shown conclusively that the addition of epirubicin to traditional chemotherapy has a significant impact on survival in early stage breast cancer. Over the years, the combination of chemotherapy drugs has been refined to help prevent the recurrence of tumours, but it's unusual to see such a dramatic improvement in survival with relatively small changes in the package of drugs. Without trials like this, we just cannot progress things. Th th these are called generically randomised phase 3 trials. They're comparing a modification of standard treatment with standard treatment. They are the evidence base, they provide the evidence base, they provide the data that enable us to say that some modification of standard treatment is better than standard treatment alone. Without those data, you're in the world of value judgment. So this randomized phase three trial, or maybe a confirmatory randomized phase three trial, is the cornerstone of evidence-based medicine. With this particular trial, it seems that a significant step has been taken in the treatment of early stage breast cancer.